Yo, what is going on, 67 Letter Squad? Today, we're doing a try on Thursday because yesterday was actually a tilt, even though I played Medusa and Hachiban. It was a tilt. Um, but we're try a bit today, and Hebo is open. Fenrir is also open, but I ain't scared of nothing. I genuinely thought that he was going to pick Fenrir. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, by the way, all those people who subscribed yesterday, thank you guys so much. We are combating the daily sub loss uh 50 people at a time if you see here you just see all of these people subscribe thank you so much to all of you um if you're not subscribed right now please do so it, it really does mean a lot to me and it helps push the the algorithm out there dude it really does like i'm not even kidding if um the tilt video yesterday already has 3000 more views than the video that i released on monday so, I, that, I mean, that's got to be insane, right? Or no, that video I released on Wednesday, and the video I released Thursday already has 3,000 more views. So, it's pretty insane how much it actually does genuinely help the algorithm. So, like the video, subscribe, and, um, and leave a comment. So, if you guys do like the content, you know, by all means, dislike it if you hate it. But if you like the content, please leave a like and check to see if you're subscribed if you're not that's fine you don't have to i'm not gonna force you i would appreciate it though um but but we're playing a little bit of try Art thursday i'm starting off with hebo because i just woke up and i don't need to turn my brain on very much to play hebo i'm gonna be honest he's very simple you press one button and they either die or you die. You know, that, that's about how it works. Oop, did not mean to auto attack. You see, you see that auto attack? That cost me time. I, okay, that's why I'm Hebo right now. You saw that? You saw that ability press I just did? That, that crazy button press? And you're dead. Oh God, wait, hold on. Yeah, okay. Hold on, check this out, check this out. Hold on. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Okay. I guess I should have been a little scared. I took a lot of archer damage there. How many potions does he have? He's healing kind of a lot. Okay. You know what? Fine. You may have your life if I can have red buff. Agreed? I'll make that trade. I don't mind that trade. Uh, there's a lot of people commenting, by the way, yesterday, because I, I, I do read comments, and I do heart them and stuff. <clears throat> I didn't read them yesterday because I was out with my family, obviously, but uh, I read a lot of comments, and a lot of comments were like, Sam, I don't play the game, uh, but I watch you to entertain myself. Like, the very top comment was, it's actually a little sad. He said he watches me to, like, distract himself from his normal mundane activities. It's not mundane to have a to have a, an average life, you know, like, uh, this is something that I've learned very recently and I would like to pass on to you, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm coming up on almost 30. So I got some, I got some wisdom for you guys now. Uh, having a quote unquote normal life because of the fact that you have a nine to five job or you are not like you have a wife and you have a kid and you're not a millionaire and you know the nine to five it's not that's not a bad thing to have that's a very secure and and honestly fulfilling thing to have right like always chasing more and more money and only caring about money and stocks and you know whatever whatever it is that money money juice people care about um it's not really a way to live because you're missing out on so much of life, you know, like sitting down on the couch with my wife is like one of the, one of the greatest pastimes, you know, like it's not even, I'm not even trolling. I'm not even trolling. I just like being with her and hanging out. And it's like a lot of people, it's very easy to get caught up in like, wow, I see this guy on the internet being way more successful than me. 
and he's half my age or even you know he's 10 years younger than me or something um if that's what he wants i'm glad he has it but you know having a secure and ouch nice life is not not a bad thing it's a lot of fun actually but that's just my two cents you know like it, your your mundane tasks are not always mundane they're just mundane because you want more and sometimes being comfortable with what you have is important and i know people are like oh man this guy's stuck in the matrix you know <laughs> like he doesn't want cars and bitches and money but like i'm a happy guy so i'm, I'm pretty good right now you know what i mean <clears throat> Anyways, I saw that comment, which made me go on a little bit of a rant, which I apologize for, but, um, I don't know. Other comments were like, hey, Sam, we don't play Smite, but we watch your videos and they're still really enjoyable. And I, you know, uh, other comments are like, the reason that Smite 1's not doing good is because everyone's not playing it because they're waiting for Smite 2, which I do fully, fully agree with. However, my counterpoint to that is yes, they are waiting for Smite 2, but you're not going to enjoy Smite 2 if you didn't play Smite 1 because how do you have that up every 14 seconds, by the way? You're dead? Uh, you're not going to enjoy Smite 2 if you're not, in, not playing Smite 1 right now because all the people playing Smite 1 right now are going to be significantly better at both mechanical skills and just like general knowledge of the game due to the play test than anyone coming into smite 2 during the open beta will be so um you are putting yourself at a disadvantage not playing smite right now i'm not saying you have to go play smite because lord knows sometimes i don't even want to but <clears throat> i'm just saying that the possibility of it not being as successful um, as people expect it to be is there, right? Like that that possibility where it might just kind of fall off, kind of DOA, dead on arrival. Um, it is there because, like I said, like other than like uh, the obvious skill gap between people that are very actively playing Smite and people that aren't, um, which isn't a roast. If you're not playing Smite, you're like, wow, these, he thinks I'm, I'm shit at the game. No, I think people who are practiced are better. That's just what it means. I'm not roasting. Um, he's going to crack in me here. Man, could you not? Oh, wow. I didn't think that kill. To be honest. <clears throat> I did not think that would kill. But other than the very obvious, like I said, um, there's also the fact that you just like don't care a lot after, you know, like, oh, you're a lot of people play smite because they're addicted to smite and they're addicted to, you know, either the feeling of playing smite or the friends they made while playing smite or, or something. Um, but, oh, you're dead. Uh, but there's also that aspect of like when you're not playing smite for a long time it, it maybe like smite 2 just won't feel as good you know maybe it won't hit the nostalgia that you wanted it to hit maybe it won't be the uh the comeback the revival of, of your favorite game of all time you know it might it might not be and a lot of people will be disappointed in that because of the changes because another thing uh, one last thing that I want to point out about why Smite 2 might not do as well as people think it will on release is because nostalgia is a hell of a drug. Uh, and what I mean by that is um, Smite 2 won't hit the same as Smite 1. It won't. It's new. It's updated. It looks different. It feels different. Gods have different abilities, different passives, you know, different items. It's just not going to feel like Smite 1. Um, it will have the essence of Smite in it, but it won't hit the same nostalgia mark. 
But then there's also the um, the main point of hold on, my brain's not braining. The main point was oh that people don't accept new a lot of times. Like I, I I like as a streamer for Smite, you know, obviously people come to me when there's an issue about the game they like. And the biggest issue I've heard recently about Smite 2 is um, it is too different. Like, they, they, they hate Smite 2 and they think Smite 1 is so much better because it's changed, right? And, and as dumb as it sounds, trust me, I understand. As dumb as it sounds, uh, people don't like change. They just don't. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's a possibility that I could fall. But that, that was just one answer to one one uh, of the upvoted comments that they were like, we're not playing Smite right now. Like, Smite, Smite's player base is falling off because we're all just waiting for Smite 2. That, that, is, that is true. That is true. But... You got to recognize some other kind of factors into it. Um, the second comment I saw was, uh, Sam, I hear how you talk about Kingdom Hearts and how much passion you have. And I would love to see that in other videos with that sort of passion towards the game. And um, thank you. You know, I do. I'm, I'm very passion full for Smite also. You know, if I didn't actually get mad at Smite, um, if, then uh, then I wouldn't have any passion for it. You know, like I genuinely want Smite and Smite 2 to be the best games possible um, because I want it to be successful and I want it to be a great game. Um, if I was just like, yeah, this game's always so good. Yeah, woo woo, yippee. You know, then no one would fucking believe that I want this game to actually succeed. Um, sorry, I'm juggling a Titan and a Poseidon right now give me a second um but they're ow oh you're dead by the way oh i'm dead um but a lot of people were saying like oh you have all this passion for all these other games uh why don't you upload them and the reason is because it's not good for my channel um, you know, like if you see like these people are way bigger than me, the people I'm about to mention, but it, the same kind of category falls under them is if you see, um, like Ludwig and small ant and, uh, like point crow and stuff like they've tested other videos, right? They've tested other kinds of like different content. And I've done the same thing with Tarkov a while ago. Um, but those videos just don't get views, you know, they just don't. It's not really like, yes, I could kind of, I could, if Smite 2 dies, I could potentially just delete all of the Smite videos off my channel, restart the algorithm playing fucking Pokemon. I could, but like uploading content that isn't Smite related, on my main channel does two two negative things one um it hurts my ego because it has it gets no views right it gets like if i uploaded an elden ring video right now it'd get like 800 views maybe a thousand so it'd get 10 percent of the views maybe that a, a normal video gets which you know i know a lot of people are like dude who cares about the views do something you like which is like true but also i do have a house and I do have a mortgage. You know what I mean? So it's not like... It's not like I could just do that. Um, but then secondly... And this one is the much bigger reason why I don't. Um, is the algorithm. Because if a video does negatively or does poorly on the channel... People unsubscribe from that video. People dislike that video a lot. Actually, disliking is fine for the algorithm. Um, but people unsubscribe from the video or people don't watch that video a lot, then in that case, 
uh, my algorithm for the entire channel, even other Smite videos, goes down. So that's that's the reason I don't. Maybe in the future, I will. I don't know. I'll see you guys in game two. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to game two of uh, Try Hard Thursday. Alexander, thank you for the tier three sub. I appreciate that. I did turn my stream on. Uh, the past couple videos, I did not stream while I recorded them because I haven't been feeling great, so I didn't stream for a while. But uh, here we are. We're back. We're gaming. And the uh, you can see the chat in the top left again. I th I'm pretty sure you can, at least. Do, 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 do. Uh, should I actually just invade? I don't need that much mana. Oh, no, I kind of need mana. Nah, I'm going to get red buff. I'm going to get red buff. We're going to be famous, chat? I mean, probably. Oh, shit. He's at red. Wait, what's he What's he doing? What's, what's the old broad doing? Stop. I couldn't actually figure it out there. Okay, well... I couldn't pillar off the red buff because I made the mistake of using my pillar while the minis were still up. Hello? I dare you to jump in. You're dead. Owned. Actually owned. Not bad. I mean, red buff on her. He has base pen already built into his kit. With a red buff, you're looking at a lot of damage. Um. I want him to hit, try to hit me. Oh, if I got... If I put that pillar a little bit better, I could have full ulted him and killed him. Roger. I just juked like 14 autos. Does he have vibrant shard? What in the world? <clears throat> oh, he has Aegis up. All right. I'll take all three Aegis. It's pretty nice for me. I need to make sure I still have 60 mana pretty much at all times because he has alt now and I'm a little scared of being owned. But, um, I don't know. Oh. Shout out the archers doing my job for me. The goats. Dude, I love when I don't even need to play the game, honestly. Did he not have his jump? Uh, no, I think he used his jump to get over the wall when the buff spawned. And the, uh, the jump has a very long cooldown initially. <clears throat> Archers never miss? Bro, could you imagine a smite game? where the archers had to had to like they shot at your most recent location rather than where you currently are like like they didn't have aimbot if you could juke archer shots we would have we would have some insane clips of people like juking 14 archer shots landing an auto on a person juking another 25 archer shots fucking like backspace delete control alt, deleting their smite game reinstalling it and then getting a kill that would be crazy hello i am here and i do damage Up. pow pow and you're dead I literally didn't miss a single spear. The only reason I hit six out of eight is because he died on my sixth one. <clears throat> Perfect. Now we get this. Man, I am very far ahead. Holy crap. Very far ahead. You know, I watched... Um, what movie did I watch last night? Can I have that? 
Thank you. Hello. I killed myself. Oh shit. I watched Tron. I got something in my throat. I watched Tron last night. It was a good movie. For 14 years ago, it wasn't bad. Tron Legacy or the original one? Tron Legacy. Um, the one with Olivia Wilde. Now, don't get me wrong, it definitely is not the best movie ever made, but it ain't the worst. All right, should I try to try, should I try to corner a Hades? It most certainly will not work, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Like boom, boom. This shall engulf you. Uh oh. Uh oh. This shall engulf you. Uh oh. I'm so dead here. All right, use your one. Nice. Nice. All he had to do was use his one and I, I get the kill. And he can't really get, he can't really get close to me without using his one. <clears throat> he needs blink actually. If he gets blink, it'll be a little bit of a harder game, but the fact that he can't get close to me without using his one and I can like easily knock him back once he uses one is uh pretty tragic for him. Okay, he gave up. He literally gave up, stopped moving, died, and surrendered. I'm sorry. I feel bad about that win, but I'll see you guys in the next game. Hello gamers, welcome back to game number three. Try our Thursday, I'm playing Bastet. Honey Bunny. Honey Bunny Bastet. Um, do I go Soul Eater? It's got a bit of a wind up on it. Like I could just go Blackthorn and not have to worry about everything. Soul Eater is better for late, like it's better scaling item. Do I want early game damage or do I want late game damage? I kind of want late game damage. So I'm going to do this. I don't know if there's a right decision there. I feel like there is a right decision and I'm kind of a bozo. But I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go beads. Because here's what I expect to happen. I jump in on him to do some poke damage. He then presses three. I jump back. He follows my jump back with his alt and then I'm going to get stunned by his three. Hello. I did 74 damage. It owned. He went frostbound first item? What in the world? Okay. I'm gonna walk past you. I hit one minion with that. That is actually tragically bad. I'm just dead. Unlucky. Your middle tower is under attack. How am I supposed to deal with a tier two frostbound start Osiris? Honestly. Like actually how? He wants to hurt me so bad. Oops. Paused. All right. That pause.
Paul? No, it is not Paul. It is not Paul. Um, uh, damn, dude, what do I do? Frostbound first item, Osiris. I think I just go cooldown. I go cooldown so I can jump more often. Slap him with threes more often. Stuff like that. But it needs to be a mana cooldown item. So it needs to be either Breastplate or Jotun's. I can get Hydra's later on in the game for the last 10% cooldown. More than likely, I'll just go blue though. Oh, he's actually giving me the blue buff here. That's pretty nice. He's going to get red. Auto attack CD goes kind of hard, huh? What do you mean? Like auto attack cooldown Bastet? Not really. I mean, you're never you never want to build auto attack against Osiris because you'll never win that fight. Wow, I do no damage. Tragic. All right, he's gonna get double buff, but I will get rock and maybe XP camp here, depending on if I can out clear him. Um, I missed. All right. I'd rather you not back if that's okay with you, because you have no pots right now. So I'm definitely at the advantage. That was so badly stupid. It's crazy. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Oh, he didn't ult that. He, he really wants to ult, right? Nice. Nice. I thought he was going to ult my ult. And then we were just going to like part ways, you know? But when he didn't ult my ult, he just kind of died. You know what I mean? You either ult my ult and we just walk away from each other. Or you don't ult my ult and, and, and you just die. You, it's just Jover for you. Um, With that kill, I want to be more aggressive. And I want to go Jotun's here. No Breastplate. Good morning, Book of Thoth. Good morning, JTuck. Happy Friday. Hope you're having a lovely morning. Um, okay, I cannot fight him like mano a mano, probably. Because he's got Frostbound and a tier 2 defense item. Uh, so I just have to poke like a little bitch. And hope that that's enough. Because if it's not enough... I mean, it's not, it's not going to be enough, to be honest. It might be enough to like eventually get him down low. That does exactly 200 damage. Oh, I really wanted to jump back. I may be deceased. Never mind. We rooted him. We're chilling. Ouch. You're backing? Why are you backing? For a red buff? I'm giving you it. I don't want red buff. I want my blue buff. You don't need to, like, back and prep yourself for it. I mean, I guess it's a smart thing to do. Just in case. I almost have my soul leader finish, which is going to be hugely important in potentially winning this game. Um, I 
<laughs> I really do wish that my one killed the back line. Fifty-three on my two. Not great. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with a little a little bit of poke damage. Um, if I alt, will he alt? I thought he would last time, but he didn't. I do have Soul Eater finish now. Means I can be a lot more aggressive. Why? Why did you insta shell? Nice. Does that kill you? Nope. This will though. Perfect. Alright. Slowly, slowly doing some damage. Actually, is red buff up? No, it's not. Eh. Okay, I'll just get rocking back then. What is my next item? Maybe... Maybe just beat stick? He's going serrated here. He ulted towards tower instead of over the wall. You think he lives? 100% he lives. Yeah. The only reason I was able to kill him is because he basically presented himself to me. Get him, cat. Oh. My cat kind of looks like a neat arena in this skin. Like, low key, look at that. I mean, I know it's a bunny. But kind of looks like one. Stop. That was a weird interaction. Well, he didn't even juke the other way. He just kept running the same direction. What in the world? Who does that? That jump gave me 200 HP. Oh my goodness. All right. He thought he was going to kill me there 100%. He thought I was a little baby bitch and he was going to own me. And there was nothing I could do. No siree. Not today. I'm actually going to go rock first. I needed mana anyways. So... We kill rock and then we do red. Now we get beat stick and tier two hydras maybe. Just tier two hydras. I have no defense, which is like very terrifying. I don't like it at all. Your middle tower is under attack. Hello. I caught him. Look at that. Dang it. I don't think I can kill him here, can I? He's too quick. He ran all the way back. A safe man. A safe man. A safe man. Can't get mad at that. Sometimes you just got to play safe. Especially when you're losing. That should heal me quite a bit. Can I get blue? I only have 200 mana. I, that was... Dude. Getting stunned right when you leap 
just teleports you to your leap location. That's crazy. That's actually so crazy because I could like time it to where my leap just goes off and he thinks I'm going to land in, in like one spot and I don't land there and he just whiffs alt. There's a lot of like good Osiris players will wait for their uh, their alt to go off. Ow. They'll wait for their alt to go off. Can we take a time out? I'm so scared. Hold on. Is he faster than me? Because he's kind of... Yeah, he's, yeah, he's faster than me. 7% movement speed from Equinox. I have no movement speed. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Um, A lot of Osiris players will like stun. And then they'll wait for that stun to go off. Just to land all guaranteed. Um, I am of the opinion that that bull demon is useless because the only way I'm getting his Phoenix, even if I have bull demon, the only way I'm getting his Phoenix is if I kill him. So means nothing to me. I would much rather have this red buff. Mm, your blue's not even up. Unlucky. Osiris wins this late. No. Uh, does he? I feel like once I get Heartseeker, I just poke him really hard. to be what bass that's all it used to be a um <clears throat> well it used to be a few things <clears throat> it used to be two cats come up to the side of you and then your other three abilities do better things <clears throat> like more damage or like other effects um and then there was another one too, but I forget the other one. That's the main one I remember. I think. I'm okay with this. He always jukes left, man. I got. I just gotta start rolling left with my jukies. All right, you're gonna ult. You have to ult. You actually might still die here. Hold on. Whoa. I almost died to, because of Frostbound. No, I didn't know he for real. I almost died because of Frostbound just then, dude. The OG one was throwing three cats out. Your alt was three cats? I don't remember that. Oh, yes, I do remember that. They'd have like a thousand and fucking 500 HP each. They'd be impossible to kill and they'd just rip your ass apart. You couldn't do anything about it. I do remember that. It was tragic. <clears throat> yeah, she's at three alts. I remember now, I remember. Damn, that did 500. Oh. Look at that Heartseeker damage, by the way. 66 damage. One proc. A Hort Seeker. 94 that time. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Osiris wins this late, dude. I don't even think it's close. I think Osiris gets owned late. 
it's so hard for him to do anything because he has to lock me down to hurt me. He has to lock me down to hurt me and he just can't. And then, yeah, he runs away because he has to heal. And then I just heal off the way with Soul Eater. I don't know. I feel like it's very, very hard for him to do anything here. Uh, he was banking on his three to help him live there. He was banking on the three, but I just... I simply just beads it. Uh, yeah, my last item would have been Crusher there for an extra 10% pen. I have 10% from Heartseeker, 10% from Hydra's, and then I get a, a last 10% from, from Crusher there. Would have been nice. All right. See you guys next game. Hey, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to the last game of the Triad Thursday. We're actually playing Kronos, which I don't play anymore, and I don't really know why. I can buy two health pots with Bancrofts now. That's insane. Alexander with 10 gifted. Thank you so much, you absolute freaking goat. Absolute legend. Thank you so much. Jeez. So after I... Do I get my two here? Hold on, let me think. Two saves mana. Do I need to save mana if I'm getting blue buff? Probably not. So then shouldn't I just get two points in my one to maybe clear a little bit faster? Uh... I mean, probably, but then your two's pretty good against the wave. Fuck it. Who needs the two? All right, surely he's not invading me. That would be tragic. Oh, I actually outcleared Hades buff clear. That's that's insane. I it wasn't even close. All right, um, well, let's just get the minis here so I can hit five before him. Thank you. Not bad. Ow. Ow. I definitely evened out on that trade there. Not really because of the wave, but fine he's a 2900 mmr hades man not bad it's not bad unfortunately mr hades main i'm not scared of you we got his beads there too we got his beads there too baby that's pretty good Ouch. Missed. I got two of them. I thought I got all three, but I only got two. Um, I can't die here. I have beads and alt up. I'm just going to stun him. Stun him and get the wave. Beads against Kronos kind of dumb, not gonna lie. Uh, I completely disagree. I wholeheartedly and completely disagree. I think beads against Kronos is important. Hades is absolutely one of the best dual gods, yeah. And it's not even close. He's like... He's got so much control over the map that it's hard to argue that... He's not, like, top three. You won't live to find another day. Just for the three, though? Uh, yeah, the three is, like, the main thing of Kronos. 
if you can eliminate like one of the biggest aspects of a kit then then yes it's it's worth it no okay not if your opponent sucks and they miss everything like i just did um oh you have tier two defense already okay, I'm sure I thought he was going to walk up to it. Wow, that healed a lot. And you don't even have... I don't even have lifesteal. Because he's so good at juking. Kind of pisses me off. You're pissing me off. Oh my god. He doesn't even have life steal, man. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay. Whatever. I'm going past the ones. Fuck it. If they think they can beat me, they he doesn't even have life steal. Run away. Oh my god, and he even did that? Full HP. It's gonna hurt probably. To get that. Steal. So I'm kind of okay here, I think. Oh, really? That's unfortunate. Dude, I'm just out of mana all the fucking time. I got the blue that I that I needed. I go Typhons. All right, I'm catching back up. Man, the early 80s is so hard to to control. I just run out of mana. Every turn, I'm out of mana. He got red buff. He's gonna finish Genji's. I mean, he's super tanky right now. He's not really doing much damage, which is why I'm able to just like sit there and kind of fuck with him while I box him. But. Oh, he is going, uh. He, he's even. He's going Bancroft even after I already finished my Pesty. That is a bad play. Is it not? Well, there's his ult for literally free. I did, I did nothing, and I'm still completely fine. I'll just go get blue then. Nice. Why would you detonate when you didn't even get the whole way with it?
Like, this is what I'm talking about, man. Like, there's... As much, like, as tanky as he is... But what's it gonna do for you, you know? Like, the second that I'm able to knock it completely one hit... Which is Pestilence... Um... You're, you just don't do anything to me. He's, he's borderline irrelevant in this match right now. It's like I'm farming with an unkillable minion chasing me. You know, like it's, I'm never going to kill him. And he's never going to kill me. He is fighting Kronos though. Yeah, but he should have started with with uh, Bancrofts because starting with Sorkstone, like, it gets him tanky, but it doesn't get him anything else. Oh. Get that minion. Hello. Okay. The best way to outsecure a Hades on buff control is to make sure that uh, you kill the minis. Obviously, I didn't think that he'd walk out and reset the red buff there when I threed him. I thought it would be free. Man. Is his one timer the same cooldown as my three? Because that's what it seems like. Thank you, baby. You're the best. It seems like his three is the exact same cooldown as my, or no, his one is the exact same cooldown as my three. Should I just go Chronos Pendant? Yo, I wonder how Mirrodin works on Chronos. I've never bought it. Do I alt? And then after my alt, just do like Buku damage? Yeah, he heals for 15% of your max HP and mana every time you level. That's what the sword stone does. Okay. This is all. Let me take you to another Bro, if I imagine if I landed a single stun this game, wouldn't it be crazy? If I landed one stun, wouldn't this game be like so easy? That's crazy. Hello. Alright. I got no mana. He just has infinity mana. I hate that for me. Yeah. Now what? Now what? I I heal for as much damage as you do per auto attack. Per auto. Brother? Gonna clear the wave. Alright, I need mana. I'm going Chronos Pendant. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going Chronos Pendant and Med. I will not run out of mana anymore. I have evolved past the need for mana. Boom. You mind if I just do red? You cool with that? Cool, 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 cool. That's sick. That's sick. I wonder, like, he has no percent pen, by the way. He's going poly next item. Uh, but he has zero percent pen. If I just go Genji's here, doesn't he lose?
little mouse. You got such a good cooldown. Noli McFly, what's up, dude? Mine. Um, he's going Typhons now. Okay, so he will have percent pen. So there's no point in me Nothing doing that. Ever. So instead, what if I just go, what if I go hasten right here? What if I just chase his ass down? What's up, gamer? and ring bro i'm immune i just i get to do whatever i want man i get to do anything i want to do Now we go get red buff. Oh, I got a bacon, egg, and cheese. I gotta go. I gotta go smooch my wife. Kronos is slow, huh? Yeah, he's a little slow. He's a little slow. Um, I'm gonna go Cyclopean. I mean, I could die now because he does have percent pen and poly. I definitely could get owned here. But uh if I say nah I'd win. Doesn't that mean I'd just win though? That's how that works, right? Nah, I'd win. Thank you, baby. Oh we both beats. Pow, 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 pow. Pow, pow, pow. Wait, I haven't altered a single time this game. Oh, there we go. There we go. I just realized. I forgot to press the winning button. My bad. Fun. Ow. Rub graphics. But he actually does damage to me now. He kind of horse. He kind of horts me. Boom, pow, pow, boom, pow, boom, boom, boom. But I'm going to get Bull Demon. And we do this. We gotta wait for this one though. Run away, little gods. Run away. Hmm. 
My attack speed is maxed when I use my two now. That's pretty insane. Yeah, Tuesday is the patch. The big one. He's way go blink. Okay. Blink and alt. Or alt. Blink on alt for alt. Okay, that stun should have hit. Dude, that was a long game. That was a long game. Um, he's a 2900 MMR Hades main. Masters Board of Hades. I want to see what his record is, though. He played it pretty well, I'm not going to lie. His name is Omega. I want to see his, uh, his rating on Hades. He's the number one Hades in the world. He was 37 and 5. And now he is 37 and 6. That's a good record. Or, yeah. Not a bad record. Lee Prime, 66 and 38. That guy sucks. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.